Assalamualaikum and good morning. Today, we will conduct a speaking test, which is we are giving immediate response to each our partner. So, we will start with the topic one. Okay. The topic one is, what can people do if they want to improve their English? What your opinion, Isha? Okay. Um, I think, in my opinion, uh, people who want to improve their English, they can try to um, use English as their daily language. So they can talk to people using English so that they can be more comfortable with all the English words. So they can Technically, they will improve their English day by day because they um, uh, they use the English to talk to people. And second one is they can uh, always seek for help from people who already um, fluent in English because uh, as we all know, these people are very... Um, uh, familiar with uh, English words so when we communicate with them uh, they will help us if uh, we got stuck so they will like um, suggest some words that we can use when you have no idea to talk to uh, that's what I think so Hajar what do you what is the most difficult part of um, learning a language? I would say the most difficult part and in learning in a language is their pronunciation. Because if we look, um, we have British English and American English. So they have different pronunciation. For example, I would say the word water. In American, they would say they they do not say tea, they would say water, and uh, in British English, they would say, they would pronounce tea. So, the word would be water. In reality, when we learn British English, there are almost 40 different dialects in the UK. So, for the new learner, they would be confusing. So I would say we need to learn more and more because practice makes perfect. Okay, the, so the conclusion is the pronunciation is the hardest part when learning a language. Part B, which is the topic. How do you define beauty, Nisha? So basically, I, in my opinion, I think um, beauty is about confidence when you have the um, confidence you have the courage to do more things because I think beauty is just a mindset for people so um, when you feel good about yourself whether it is because of your skin um, your not you have a nice clothes you have a nice body well, if you have those, you will think that you are beautiful and so do other people. They only look at your physical appearance. But I think uh, beauty is about in your in and out. Your, about your thoughts, your, your style of thinking. Um, so that is what I think about beauty. Okay, Hajar, um, if you had one message to the world, what would it be? Okay, if I had one message to convey, I would say, don't be hard on yourself. Okay, don't be hard on yourself or feeling lost, confused, or you have not achieved all that you want to achieve. Because in our age right now, we, we should be living and learning new things. I would say like that because life would be pretty boring if you had done 
all already right. So be patient. You will eventually figure it out and everything would make perfect sense. So don't be afraid for every pain, every loss, every win and every mistake that you have feel. Because success don't come overnight. So believe in yourself, forget what other things, and don't stop until you make yourself proud. So the message that I, I want to say is, yeah, don't be hard on yourself. 